Greetings, cats and kittens. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back to Libby's Lullabies. Today, I'm going to be reading People, written and illustrated by Peter Spire. So I want you guys to sit back or lie down. Either way, enjoy the story. We all know that there are lots and lots and lots of people in the world, and many more millions each year. There are now over four billion human beings on Earth. And if it takes you an hour to finish looking at this book, there will be over 4,000 more. By the year 2000, there will be six billion people on Earth. If we all joined hands, the line would be 3,805,871 miles long and would stretch 153 times around the equator, or 16 times the distance to the moon. More than 4 billion people, and no two of them, are alike. Each and every one of us different from all the others each one a unique individual in his or her own right. We come in all sizes and shapes, tall, short, and in between. But without a single exception, we all began quite small. And we come in many colors. Even our eyes have different shapes and colors and noses come in every shape imaginable. So do faces, lips, and ears, and everything else. Think of our hair, from snow white to pitch black, straight, curly, kinky, and wavy, and a lot of people have no hair at all. People are funny. Some with straight hair want theirs to be wavy, and others with little curls want theirs straight. People around our world wear different clothes, or none at all. All of us want to look our best. Still, what is considered beautiful or handsome in one place is considered ugly and even ridiculous elsewhere. Some of us are wise, some of us are foolish, but most of us are somewhere in between. Most people are decent, honest, friendly, and well-meaning, but some are none of these. Some of us love noise, whereas others simply cannot stand it. And not everybody's idea of a good time is alike. People everywhere love to play, but not the same games everywhere. Darts originated in England, Camel Rush in India, Wari, a game of skill from Africa and Arabia, Go, the world's oldest known game in China, Yoti, played in holes in the ground West Africa, Horseshoe Pitching, USA, so many others. Our tastes are as different as day is from night. The homes we build are as varied as we are, but we all need a roof over our heads. An Aborigine dwelling in Australia, a cottage in England, Reed House, Bolivia, Scandinavia, camp trailer, modern home, Papua New Guinea. What makes some people laugh makes others cry. Some of us excel at things others could never do. Many of us like doing things with others, while some like being by themselves. We love and keep all sorts of pets. Dogs, cats, ram, llama, pony, parrots, donkey, rabbits, goat, rat, fish, 
crow, mice, gerbils, hamsters, birds, turtle, garter snake, monkeys, chameleon, ants, frogs, armadillos, skunk. And we celebrate different feasts and holidays. The Mocha Feast in New Guinea, Christmas, Feast of St. Nicholas, Holland, Hanukkah, Chinese New Year, Queen's Birthday in England, Kanto Matsuri, Harvest Festival Japan, St. Lucia's Day, Sweden, Bastille Day, France, Celebration of Prothera in Ceylon, Befana in Italy, Thanksgiving in the USA. And the things we like to eat are not the same. What people in one place consider a delicacy others would never touch, let alone eat. And the food some people eat or drink are forbidden to others. We practice nine main religions and there are thousands of others as well. Many people believe in one God and millions of others believe in many gods and many millions more do not believe in anything at all. Most of us have to work for a living, and there are more different ways of doing that than you would believe. Most people work hard, but others are lazy, and a lot of people who want to work cannot find a job. Some of us are rich, although most are not, and very many are desperately poor. Almost everybody can speak but there are 201 different main languages spoken on earth, not to mention the countless variants and dialects spoken by smaller groups. And deaf people can communicate in silence through sign language. Not nearly all the world's people can read and write, yet there are almost 100, 100, different ways of doing it. Some people, but very few, are mighty and powerful, although most of us are not mighty at all. We have invented a strange system of ranks, grades, and classes, yet we all live on the same planet, breathe the same air, and warm ourselves in the same sun. And in the end, we all must die. A few of us are remembered long, long after we're gone, and even that in countless different ways. Four billion human beings, young and old, sick and well, happy and unhappy, kind and unkind, strong and weak, people everywhere and all different. It is very strange. Some people even hate others because they are unlike themselves, because they are different. They forgot that they too would seem different if they could only see themselves through other people's eyes. But imagine how dreadfully dull this world of ours would be if everybody would look, think, eat, dress, and act the same. Now, isn't it wonderful that each and every one of us is unlike any other? I want to thank my friend Mackenzie for recommending this book. She said it was one of her favorites, and now I can see why. See? We're just different. So many of us on this planet, and there is room for us all. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, your week, or your weekend. And I will see you next time on Livy's Lullabies.